Hi there, I'm Ricardo, Business Humanizer and Partner at Inmaymotion. Welcome to day four of our Empathy Fitness Challenge. Today we'll take a look at finding common ground, another key element to build empathy with each other. Empathy can be simple when someone is a lot like you. You can relate to them and it's easy to imagine to be in their shoes. But today we have a lot of labels that oversimplify people and end up to create distance with each other. White versus black, Republicans versus Democrats, white colors versus blue colors, and also extroverts versus introvert. When using these labels, our brain seems to only narrow its focus on that specific difference instead of looking at all the other things that we have in common. That single difference now are our view of that person and prevents them from truly empathizing with them. This us versus them mentality is also very common in business. We see a lot of uh, our clients to talk about people as targets, consumers, users, only from a perspective of specific demographics. Looking at them with this narrow perspective is a big obstacle to build empathy with them. It limits a true understanding of their reality and their needs, eventually making it difficult to be relevant with their brands and, and products. I'm sure you can also see how this mentality is growing stronger and stronger in society at large, and it is driving our polarizing views even further and further apart. It disrupts family, friendship, and communities, and keeps politicians from agreeing and progressing because of the narrow view it generates. This was probably an evolutionary advantage for our ancestors to form cohesive groups with shared values and ideas, uh, to unify their ranks and give them advantages in hunting and, and tribe battles. But today we don't need more dividers than the ones we already have. We need to find more ways to connect to each other and take down the barriers. We need to face confrontation with less fear of our differences and more willingness to look for common grounds. Because the truth is that there is, and there will always be, more that unites us than things that push us apart. We only need to do an extra effort to find them. And when we do, that distance that you felt for the person with a label on their head won't seem so big. Doing this effort is part of the process of improving and strengthening our empathy muscles. So for your empathy fitness assignment today, we want you to think about this idea a bit more. First, by watching this inspiring video that you can find in the feeds below. This is a nice illustration of what we talked about here today. Watch it and think about how identifying these types of commonalities open up to the path of empathy. Next, think of someone you know who you see are quite distant from you. It could be a colleague or an acquaintance. Invite them to have a virtual coffee or lunch with you and play the game Find Common Ground with them. You can use the facilitating sheet that you find in the feeds below. Share the sheet with the person and find the things you have in common. Let's say at least three. Talk about them for a while and reflect on how these commonalities change your perception of each other. I know this invitation can seem kind of awkward if you don't know them well, but just like with physical fitness, when you challenge yourself to run a little further or lift a heavier weight, sometimes exercise our empathy is hard, but it's worth it. After your chat, let us know in the comments three things. One, how did it go? Two, the three things that you had in common. And three, how playing the game have changed the way you interact and empathize with each other. So good luck and see you tomorrow for our last day of the Empathy Fitness Challenge.